Hello, hello. Welcome back. It is Dana. We are here doing Panic, Season 1, Episode 2, Heights. Quick recap of last episode. Um, I definitely did complain, maybe a little too much, about how slow it was to get started, but I am hopeful to go as we go forward. Um, I think it has a lot of potential. But quick recap. So, Heather, I'm pretty sure is the name of our main character, graduated high school, Mom only showed up at, like, the very end to borrow money from her. Um, you can tell things are not great in that household. Um, this, uh, after graduation, all of the kids, not all the kids, but any kid who wants to is el eligible to play Panic. Um, essentially, it's just a series of dares, for lack of a better term. If you do it, you get points from unknown judges and... Um, whoever has the most points at the end of the summer wins whatever the pot is. This year it happens to be 50 grand. Um, and this is such like a small teeny tiny town that essentially if you don't win, you have no life. Like the person who wins is the person who gets out essentially. Um, so there are three friends. There's Heather, her friend, someone and someone else. But the point is, Heather's not planning to play. She plans to uh, go to college to get a degree in accounting, so that's sort of what she plans is her way out. She's been saving money for a long time, so that's her way out of this town. Cut to her mother steals all of her money, so now she has no money, so she has to participate in panic if she ever wants to get out. So, um... She plays, a bunch of other people play. The cops are very against this. It's very, everybody knows it, it goes on, but it's not really supposed to because people have gotten hurt, people have died. So it's, um, the cops always try to break it up, but it doesn't usually end up happening. But make a long story short, the end of the episode, Heather ends up playing because reasons, and she ends up, so there's like cliffs they're going to jump off of, and there's, like, the regular one, there's the high one, and then there's, like, the it's going to kill you one. So, obviously, the it's going to kill you one is going to give you the most points. So, that's where she ends up jumping off of at the end of the episode. And I'm pretty sure that that is where it ends for that episode. Um, so, I'm assuming that this next episode, which is called Heights, I think the book had it something like a very rickety, like, bridge, for lack of a better term, it's like, strung up between, like, two water towers, essentially, I think, and you have to just get across it in the dark. Um, I'm assuming that every episode is going to be the next dare, um, but we'll see. So let's get into it. Like I said, hopefully... Um, Things are going to be more exciting now because we have the backstory that we need. Um, oh, and to get to Panic, I forgot, uh, Heather stole her mother's car because Heather's mom stole her money to put a new transmission in the car. So I don't know if that will be important this episode, but I feel like going forward that might be something I have to remember to mention. All right, that's it. So here we go. Panic, Season 1, Episode 2, Heights. Let's do it. <clears throat> oh, sexual content. I thought that said sexual favors, and I was like, well, that's a little... I've never seen that one before. This lasts way too long. Okay. So this is, like, I think exactly where we ended last time. Or maybe... Is she dreaming? Yeah. I forget her name. His name might be Dodge. Somebody's name is Dodge. Secret shame. Hello? Yeah, go ahead, I accept. Hey, cops. Alright, that's... We're all afraid of something. I can't believe you would. she would find that much money in the couch. But what 
is she supposed to do about it? She's a child. There's no way he didn't see them. Okay, Bug, I will see you here back at four, but Bo is going to pick us up after his shift. Bye. So, Bo and your... What's the point of even looking for a job if you're just going to play the game? Because I have $17.26 in my savings now. Hmm. Have you, um, talked to Nat at all? She hasn't heard me answer. Natalie, calls. okay. It's been two days. Look, it's Nat. This will all blow over. I didn't mean to lie. I didn't even really mean to jump. She just freaked out. There, I was like, I had to do it. Because she was moneyless. You think I should quit? Yeah, players do it all the time. No. It's, it's, it's bullshit, and it's, it's dangerous, and, and two kids died last year, so, so what's the point? I mean, you know what? If you win... You know, you're just going to be sidelined. Is that what you think? Hmm. I mean... I bet that's what everyone thinks. I'm... Sh I mean, it's kind of a shitty thing for him to say, so, but it shouldn't have made her so upset, I don't think. Supposedly, Jimmy and Abby were playing this game. 17 years old, young and in love, headed to college, and now they're dead. Abby was run over by an 18 wheeler. She tried to cross I 45 line for oh. Yeah, that one I wouldn't do, I'm pretty sure. Jimmy, Jimmy killed himself playing a game of Russian roulette. I wouldn't play that one either. Like, jumping off a cliff? Yeah, maybe. Walking across a board? Yeah, maybe. Neither are these two. These two are like real fucked up. I don't mind her she was Abby's best friend. Well, we talked to her over the winter, and she said she didn't know anything then, but she sounded really upset on those calls. That reminded me of those fire Let's talk to her again. Okay. These kids just follow the earth. They protect themselves, they protect this thing, and that's it. Do you guys have any jobs available? We are all full up for the summer. Can you try over at the Bucky's? Yeah, I've tried everywhere. I like that no, lady's I mean, hair. Not really. I just I wish my hair looked that cool. My mom always had her. I heard you asking after a job in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I could use some help out of my farm. I mean, I can't imagine I would be good at working on a farm. I'm bad with animals. I don't like them and I am afraid of them. Um, I could probably paint something, but it probably wouldn't look very good when I was done with it. <laughs> My god, she looks... Alright, remember the court rules. No cursing, spitting, hanging, or crying because I think I ran out of tissues. My mom took my money for school. What do you mean she took it? You know what she I means. Didn't it? How much? All of it. Five thousand four hundred and sixty dollars. She left a few bucks in the spare change. I wish you told me. I know you should have just told her. I didn't learn about it until after you left for the jump. And... I just don't understand. I'm sorry, Nat. Why Natalie is so very I'm upset? To compete against you. I'm sorry for getting so mad. I should have known you'd have a reason. We're both in the game. We're in it together. But you said there was no together in the panic. Oh, no, there's no ties. One winner only. Bye. And then we split the money. That's an excellent idea, oh, Natalie. That is a yep. But you didn't come here to talk about me, did you? No, I came here to talk to you about panic. You told your friends back in London. I swore I'd never tell. Well, we're trying to keep kids alive here. Oh no, I just thought after that. It's not the players or the judges. At least they're trying. The judges. Oh, you're given information. How did she make enough Langley, money at the Taco Bell? Be careful. To afford this. The game will go on. The signs are everywhere. House. Maybe she lives like with her parents. Who 
What the fuck? Watching what we do when we think there's no one watching. Keeping tabs on who we're with. I need to know that dude's name. Uh, we were actually just leaving. But take your fries with you. You left all the fries. The thing was like full. <laughs> Go ahead and give me the fuck you. I'm here to help you. Sorry? Panic's a local game. We made it. We run it. We keep it a secret. Strangers aren't welcome. All graduating seniors. I like you, I do. I like a man ain't afraid to get his ass beat. It's gonna make it all that much sweeter when I beat his ass. Okay. Thank you. What's that? Typical. Only a couple days after graduation and already half the letters have out. Hmm. Hey, it's a clue. Look, the missing letter. Great. Right. So we know where the next challenge will be. Question is, when? So it looks like we're... When I said you couldn't win, I... It's okay. No, 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 mm -hmm. listen. I didn't mean you couldn't win Panic specifically. I mean, generally, you can't win. I mean, sure, people take home the grand prize, but how many people actually win Panic? Because winning panic didn't fix anything. It didn't save them from making stupid choices. It only yeah, but to make she doesn't ones. make stupid choices. She's different, I think. She's gonna use her fifty the grand to go away to college and get a real life. I mean, she's used to living, like, even less than paycheck to paycheck. So I think she'll be okay if she gets the money and gets out. Very quiet on Main Street. I mean, is she gonna be able to figure that out? Williams, I think I got something. Has there been any suspicious activity at the granary lately? Damn. You just got a complaint on some graffiti. Apparently went up overnight. How the hell did she figure that out? This is not a real number. Because it's missing two digits. It's like coordinates. It's a geotag. You really did yourself. Oh, well, you know what I always say. Is that beats a competition? You have never, ever said that. <laughs> oh, just sit down already. What? We're gonna win. We gonna... Ray Hall. Everyone's betting on him. He's reckless, fearless. What about Troy Van? Mmm, Troy Van. I mean, if you can wear lip gloss and carp tie. I think Shauna Kenny could be a problem. Her brother Hunt is coaching her. And she's just so fucking cool. Dodge, Mason, Dodge is the new kid. Alright. So I'm guessing that'll be just a... Challenges usually fall under a couple different categories. We have mm -hmm. labyrinths and wilderness drops. Maps and illegal entry. We'll call it rough stuff with snakes, rats, and spiders. Yes. Mm -hmm. Challenges of physical stamina under pain or stress. I bet anything tonight that the challenge will be a crossing. The points will be for speed. Isn't that how Abby died? Here we are. I still haven't really figured out how I feel about this. I think this may have been better as a book than as a TV show. I don't get the same feeling of tense and suspense and... <laughs> oh. Right. Right, right. I remember now. Slower you are, more points you lose. Mm. You've got 90 seconds to cross before you're in the red. Um, <clears throat> again, I like it as a concept. I like the idea. I just not. It's not really drawing me in yet. This 
does not seem safe. Like, this is something I would... If I were playing this game, which I wouldn't, but if I were, this is something I might do. It's scary as fuck, but it seems like it's within my own control whether or not I succeed or not. Whereas, like, Russian Roulette is not in my control. And neither is where trucks choose to drive. I mean, if it breaks, does it count against him? <laughs> He's so proud of himself. How long, how quick did he go? Did they give me a time? If it's supposed to be a time, it's not coordinates, Dana. But I do like the sort of more scavenger huntiness than I think we got in the book. Greeks and Romans, oh my god. Oh my god. Yes, okay, so, so the Romans, they used letters for their numerical system. Look, what if this graffiti... Saints was a this way. Isn't the goal to go as fast as possible? Oh, 17 seconds. Yeah, that guy's crazy. It's the idea. Careful and quick. So I didn't even know that this was a show. It wasn't popular, I'm guessing. I was very surprised when this show won the poll because I didn't even know it existed. Until I was literally Googling, like... Books that become... that got turned into shows or whatever. Go, go, hurry! Why does that guy get to stand on the end there? Like, that shouldn't be allowed. Hurry! She's out, man. I've seen snails move faster than that. Not stupid decisions. Don't you have anywhere else to be? Yeah, why is he allowed to be there? because the cops are on their way. Okay, so he's obviously out to get him. Don't know what he's gonna do. Oh, that's fucked up. That is seriously fucked up. That guy should get, uh, eliminated. Disqualified. Now I'm totally rooting for him. Go, Dodge, go! Get up! You should go punch him right in the face. Where is he? I really advocate for violence on TV, don't I? Not even a kick. 
kiss goodnight. Oh my god. That looked like the hardest punch I've ever seen and nothing happened to him. <laughs> yeah, that's working. You need a better spot to hide. Arresting them? This seems like the kind of thing that's like pour out your cups and go home. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They don't want to call Bishop. Okay. I see. Oh, don't worry. I've had my monthly shower. Oh. Lucky me. Yeah. <laughs> this is too and what does this do? What was up with you and Ray? Just, um, just being an asshole. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. That's about right. Why everybody's afraid of something. Oh, yeah? And what are you afraid of? Oh, well, what about you? Hmm. Can't tell you. I'm afraid of That's people good. finding out my fears. What about you? What are you scared of? Not getting out of here. No. So, I wonder if she'll be in good enough shape to do whatever comes next. Oh, her dad's a cop? Do me a favor, will you pull the tapes from the speed trap south of Greenery? I want to get a good look at the traffic from her night. Hey, Sarah Miller's still here. It sounds like she's ready to talk. Who's Sarah Miller? You remember Kayla Miller? Okay. I can start off with her if you want me to. No, 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 no. You can put her in the interrogation room. I'll handle it. These kids, they, uh, they protect each other like hyenas until you isolate one of them in that room. Mm. Then they just protect themselves. I guess we're gonna find out if that's true. It feels like it's not. I think she's not gonna talk. So now, what happens with the people who already went versus the people who still have yet to go? Do those people count? What is it that we talked about? You gotta stop doing this to yourself. I guess she's watching something. You gotta stop doing this to us. She kinda looks like the mom from One Tree Hill. But older, obviously. I have no idea if she is or not. No, maybe not. I have no idea. Why are you showering? Why would you ruin a perfectly delicious glass of wine? You alright? I don't think she is. I think that's why you're worried about her. Was it one of... Did one of their kids die in panic at some point or get oh I guess we're about to find out yes that is definitely her I'm pretty sure it's her that definitely I think that is the Abby that died playing that makes sense as to why they're so adamantly against this game Oh, 
that's it? Oh my god, I thought there was so much more left to go. <clears throat> there is not. That episode has been completed. Okay, so, a couple things. This episode, definitely better than the first episode. Um, it definitely had more excitement. Um, I also liked, I think, bringing in the police aspect of it really helped with the tension and the suspense of things. Um, whereas the first episode was just, and again, it's the first episode, you gotta give me the backstory or I'm not gonna care about any of this. So I can't fault it too much, but this episode, I was actually excited and interested and waiting to see what was gonna happen and who was gonna do what. So definitely a way better episode for episode two. Um, I really think that having, although I'm trying to remember, when they did the police briefing, I don't know what to call it, about panic to the other uh, the other officers, who was doing it? I thought it was the sheriff, but it seems like he would have said, like, one of them was my daughter, right? But he didn't. It's interesting. Um, or maybe he just didn't do it, and that's just all it is. But... It does now make so much more sense as to why the police are so adamant to stop this game. Not that they didn't have a good reason before, but this makes it just, it kicks it up a notch. Where it's, where it's less like, if kids want to be assholes and do stupid shit that's going to get them hurt, let them, you know, to their parents are the people in the police department now. Her mom, uh, Natalie's father, I mean, and I'm guessing Abby's father is the sheriff now, and I'm fairly certain that that is Lucas's mother from One Tree Hill, but I just started watching that, so I wasn't really sure. Um, also, whatever the, the, the dirtbag looking dude's name is, I forget. Somebody needs to kill him, and I hope it's Dodge. He literally almost killed him. Which is such bullshit. Like, I mean, I get you're the, this is your competition and you want to win, but you want to win by purposefully trying to kill other people? Like, that shit should have gotten him disqualified. But I don't think anybody knows what happened except for Dodge, and it doesn't seem like he's going to be saying anything. Um, so right now, Dodge, I'm one, no, so it's, right, okay, it's Heather, Natalie and Bishop are like our three, our trio of friends right now. And it looks like maybe Dodge is going to try to join that group. Um, he and Natalie looked like they had some flirty tension going on when he was fixing her twisted ankle. Um, so I don't know how that's going to be because they're competitors as well. And right now, Natalie and Heather have a pact, like, if either one of them wins, they split the money with each other. So I don't know how exactly Dodge is going to fit into that. Um, but I like the two of them together. They seem, she seems like less brash, I guess, or brass is the best way I can think about it. But I don't know her character very well yet. But it does seem like she's a little more at ease. I don't know when she was with him versus other times. So maybe they're good together. Uh, what else happened? We didn't get to see any of um, Heather's mother, which is good because she's just makes me want to hit her. But we did get to see the fact that it looks like Lily spends almost all of her time at the library because <clears throat> it's summer, she's campy in school, and she sure as hell can't stay around the trailer all day. But her mom's, I guess, back with the ex-boyfriend, which is probably going to be bad news. Um, and they have no money for rent, and they're behind on the rent, so that's going to be a whole mess. So, I don't know. But... Such a better episode than the last one, and I'm hoping that as we continue uh, going forward, it gets better and better. I suspect that it will. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything I should mention that I haven't. Um, 
I think that's probably it. I don't think that the girl they have in custody is going to say anything, but I mean, if the if the options are go to jail for your beer and your marijuana or tell us what's going on, I mean, she very well might just be like, okay, I'll tell you, here's the deal. So I don't know, but we'll see. But I'm excited to find out. And I think that's it for right now. So hopefully you had a good time. I certainly did. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.